In this video, I will consider one numerical on node analysis. Compute V1 and V2 in the circuit using nodal analysis. Here V1 and V2 node voltages are given. We supposed to calculate its voltages. This is the given circuit. This is node V1 and this is node V2. Let this is a reference node. And we know that voltage of reference node is 0 volt. That is voltage of this is 0 volt. As we know in node analysis, node voltages are the variables we supposed to calculate node voltages so let current through this branch is i1 let current through this branch is i2 i'll assume current through this branch as i3 and current through this branch as i4 here we can see that between node v1 and v2 there is a voltage source which is connected directly between v1 and v2 If voltage source is connected directly between two nodes, those two nodes are known as super nodes. Therefore, here V1 and V2 are super nodes. I can write here V1 and V2 are super nodes. So first thing is we supposed to analyze the super node. Let me analyze the super node. Here we can see that plus terminal is connected to V1 minus terminal is connected to V2. So I can write V1 minus V2 is equal to 10 angle 45. That is 10 angle 45 is connected between V1 and V2. That is nothing but potential difference between V1 and V2 is 10 angle 45. We we'll call it as equation 1. Also, we know that if the nodes are super nodes, the algebraic sum of current at super node is always equal to 0. That is, algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is equal to 0. So here we can see that at node V1, current 3 amp is incoming, current I1 is leaving and current I2 is leaving. First let me write what are the currents come into the picture at node V1. I can write at node V1, the currents are 3 is incoming. If we consider incoming current as positive, take outgoing current as negative or vice versa. So, I will consider incoming current as positive and outgoing current as negative. So, at node V1, the incoming current is 3. Here, I1 and I2 are leaving node V1. So, I can write minus I1 as it is leaving and minus I2 where I2 is also leaving. Similarly, at node V2, let me write the status of currents. At V2, current I2 is incoming that is plus i2 and i3 is leaving i can write it as minus i3 and as well i4 is leaving that is minus i4 as i said here algebraic sum of currents at super nodes is equal to zero that is sum of all these currents is equal to zero therefore i can write 3 minus i1 minus i2 plus i2 minus i3 minus i4 is equal to 0 that is R. so simplifying this i can write 3 minus i1 here i2 and i2 will get cancelled minus i3 minus i4 is equal to 0 or i can write 3 is equal to i1 plus i3 plus i4 so now we supposed to express all branch currents in terms of node voltages that is let me write the same equation here 3 is equal to i1 plus i3 plus i4 that is 3 is equal to here we can see that i1 is the current which is flowing from v1 towards reference node so i can express current in terms of voltages as I1 is equal to V1 divided by minus G3. Therefore, I1 is 
v1 divided by minus j3 so next plus i3 i3 is the current which is flowing from v2 towards reference node so i3 can be expressed as v2 divided by j6 i3 is v2 divided by j6 similarly i4 is the current which is flowing from v2 towards vr that is reference node therefore i4 can be expressed as v2 divided by 12 that is v2 divided by 12 further i can simplify this as that is i can simplify this as 3 is equal to 1 over minus j means plus j v1 divided by 3 here 1 upon j means minus j v2 divided by 6 plus v2 by 12 now further i can simplify this as here 12 will be the lcm so here 3 4 the 12 that is j4 v1 minus 6 2 the 12 that is j 2v2 plus v2 so taking 12 on left hand side it will become 36 is equal to j4 v1 plus i take v2 common here 1 minus j2 call it as equation 2 so now substitute Here V1 is equal to 10 angle 45 plus V2 that is V1 is equal to 10 angle 45 plus V2 in equation 2. Therefore, I can write it as 36 is equal to J4 we have V1 is nothing but 10 angle 45 plus V2 plus v2 minus j2 v2 or further i can simplify this as 36 is equal to j4 into 10 angle 45 plus j4 v2 plus v2 minus j2 v2 so i'll continue here so I can write it as 36 is equal to J4 into 10 angle 45 J4 into 10 angle 45 here we can see that J4 V2 minus J4 V2 that is J2 V2 that is plus V2 plus J2 V2 or I can write it as 36 is equal to J4 into 10 angle 45 plus V2 in bracket 1 plus J2. I'll take this term on left side. I can write it as 36 minus J4 into 10 angle 45 is equal to V2 in bracket 1 plus J2. So therefore, I can write V2 is equal to 36 minus j4 into 10 angle 45 divided by 1 plus j2 so simplifying this directly using calculator we will get v2 is equal to 31.4 at an angle of 81.78 So now substitute V2 value in equation 1 that is substitute V2 in equation 1 therefore I can write V1 is equal to 10 angle 45 plus 31.4 at an angle of minus 81.78 therefore V1 we will get it as 25.78 at an angle of minus 70.48.
thus we found v1 and v2 values using nodal analysis or node analysis thank you for